from the Rawesome Truth coming to you from my car. Today I want to talk to you about overcoming demons in your mind. Now I'm not talking about this on a spiritual perspective or anything like this. I'm talking about those demons, that little devil on your shoulder that you're trying to get rid of when you just can't get it together. Now, over the last five weeks, I've been moving house and I've been struggling immensely. Those demons have been everywhere. I turn this side, they're there, this side, they're there, everywhere. I'm listening to commercials and I'm listening to them, you know, oh, have a burger, blah, blah, blah. Whereas usually I can fight it off. So for me today, I really want to talk to you about the importance of structure. Now, it is so important to be structured and organized if you're a person who fights food addiction. I have battled food addiction amongst other addictions. Um, I've got an addictive personality. So for me, I know food addiction is real. So let's just start what all the professionals and all the gurus are telling people at the moment. They're saying, listen to your body. Yes, we must listen to our body. But if you're an addict, sometimes listening to your body ain't happening because you've got too much other noise going on. So anybody who's just preaching that to you all the time has no understanding of addiction. I have This is one thing that I'm an absolute expert on, addiction, because I've fought many addictions. If you have been following me for a long time, um, I've been sober for nine and a half years, so I've fought um, drug and alcohol addictions. Um, I've fought shopping addictions. I've fought food addictions. You name it. But I come out on top because I'm a strong person. And not just that I'm a strong person, I have understood the concepts that I need to overcome addictions. And that's important. It's okay saying I'm strong, I can battle all. Because no matter what, life happens. And if you don't have those structures in place, and if you don't have the understanding of addiction in your mindset, and you don't understand what to do to overcome um, when these demons start coming up again, because believe me, they keep coming. It doesn't matter how strong you are, you're always going to be fighting them. It's like the Pokemon, got to catch them all. So it is so important to have an understanding of the structure required. So today we're going to talk about cook food addiction because obviously I, I coach people on eating raw food. So at the end, I've got a massive raw forum. I've got nearly 23,000 people on it. So obviously this is what we're going to talk about. I am a cook food addict. People say, oh my God, you can't be addicted to cooked food. What a load of blah, 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 blah. Yes, I am. And I'll tell you why, first of all, I can't even have a potato. Because if I have a potato, all of a sudden, I'm going to get these feel good, you know, endorphins going off in my brain just from a bloody potato. And I will start to open the floodgates for more cooked food because I give myself permission. It's like an alcoholic having a drink. I, if I had one drink now, forget about it. I might be gone for two, three days drinking because the inhibitions have gone down. I've broken the barriers. And once I've broken the barriers, I don't know what's going to happen. So let's say I have a potato. Look, potato, a steamed potato is pretty harmless. But after that, I say, you know what? That's not enough for me. I need something else with it. So next thing you know, I'm having a big potato and I'm saying, you know what, doesn't matter, I'll put a bit of day, a day of cheese on it. Everything I have, no matter what, would be vegan. Um, you know, I put a bit of day of cheese on it. Oh, you know what, I'm going to put some vegan sour cream on it, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, I'm going out and I'm saying, you know what, I can have a burrito. That's not going to harm me. Um, I'm highly allergic to wheat. I suffer irritable bowel syndrome. And so all of a sudden, you know, I'm having a burrito. Oh, yeah, put that on it. Put this on it. Blah, blah, blah. I've got excess. I'll have an ice cream after. I've got excess fat going in my system and I've got wheat going in my system. This is a recipe for disaster for me. I'm going to have diarrhea. I'm going to be vomiting. I'm going to have stomach cramps. I could, uh, you know, up all night. My face is going to break out in acne. I'm going to be coated in rashes because this is the effect of this food on me. Yet... Once I start eating it, I will keep going. 
even though all this will happen to me the next day i'll keep going the next day and it'll take me days and days and days to get on board to be a healthy eater again so i am a food addict and what happens is the reason you keep wanting it is your body starts craving that poison it wants more and more and more just like a cocaine addict wants more cocaine just like an alcoholic wants more alcohol just like a smoker wants more nicotine this is what happens i'm a food junkie and i want more i want more salt i want more sugar refined sugar you know, I want everything that's not going to serve me any justice in my body. Next thing you know, I'm swelling up, the fluid retention, my ankles are swollen, I'm feeling cramped, my skin's gone dull, I'll go sort of black around there, my hair loses its shine. Everything I don't want to happen to me happens. So, hence, I can't eat cooked food. But... How do I stay on the raw um, bandwagon, so to speak, when everything goes pear-shaped in my life? And when I'm saying everything's going pear-shaped in my life, you know, I might be moving house, or which is what I was just doing, or I might be going on holidays, or, um, you know, look, um, school holidays, all different things where you're not as structured as usual can send your whole eating paddock, um, patterns out of whack. So the most important thing for me is to have structure. So this sort of takes the whole listen to your body out of the system because if I was listening to my body and not listening to my structure, my body at that point in time is saying, get more cooked food into you. Let's start getting our structure in place. So what do I do to remain structured? Well, no matter what, when I wake up in the morning, I have a litre of water. I usually add the juice of grapefruit or the juice of lemon into my um, water. And the reason I do that, one, it's, it's very alkaline, but it also tastes good. So I get it into me and it's refreshing. Now, a lot of people say, hey, you know, it's a big trend at the moment. Oh, you don't have water. You dry fast in the water morning, blah, blah, blah. My brain and your brain is 75% water. We need to hydrate our brain. We need to replenish our brain so it functions at its most optimal. If I'm not rehydrating my brain after I get up in the morning, and that's the longest time I'm going without hydration, my brain's not functioning. If my brain's not functioning, I'm turning into a zombie. Zombie, zombie. I don't want to be a zombie. If I'm a zombie, guess what I'm doing? Cook food, cook food food next thing you know i'm having toast for breakfast think about it water's important not just that it hydrates all your cells first thing in the morning doesn't it make sense to it makes sense to me does it make sense to you that first thing in the morning we should ha be having water i hope i've got a hell yes because that's what you should be having okay after that i have a green juice my favorite green juice is spinach cucumber celery and lemon if that's a bit hard for you and you're not used to having that add in some apple i have that because green juices are exceptionally good for my blood if my blood's pumping well and everything's going well guess what i can conquer all i can fight those demons i can fight those monsters and i'm okay now i need to fuel my body I don't want to fuel my body with cooked food. I want to fuel my body with fruit. Fruit is the best thing that you can put in your body. Our whole bodies run on glucose. So let's get those fruity carbs into us. Okay, none of this one or two bananas in the morning. Oh, yes, I because oh, I want to lose weight. No, 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 because long term you're not going to lose weight because you're not going to be able to stay on the raw food bandwagon because you are going to be hungry when you're hungry you won't beat those monsters and if you are a person like me who suffers food addiction you want to beat those food monsters so what do we do we fuel up i this morning i'm, I'm having eight bananas eight bananas i am fueling myself up my brain's going to be working properly I need my brain working properly because if it's not, guess what? I'm having the devil whisper sweet nothings in my ear. And what is he whispering to me? Get a burrito. 
get some rice, have some bread, buy a burger. Get away from me, devil. You're not getting there. The bananas are getting in. Once I'm fueled up, guess what? I'm raring to go. And if I'm fueled up, I'm a, I, I've got energy to be a good mother. I've got energy to be a good role model. I've got energy to work. I've got energy to keep my house in order. I've got energy to keep going, to fight the monsters. And not just that, I've got energy to, to get through the day. And I'm not looking or thinking about cooked food. Sec next thing you need, you always need to make sure that you've got ripe fruit with you all the time. I'm on the road all day, so this bag is filled with fruit. I've got some cherries, I've got some raspberries, I've got nectarines, I've got peaches, I've got apricots, I've got more bananas in here. See, nice speckled bananas. I don't leave anything to chance. If I leave something to chance, guess what? If, especially when I'm frazzled and my life's not in order, and hey, that's life, it's never always going to be perfect, then I'm going to say, oh, stuff it, I don't care, you know. So that's not happening. I'm not leaving things to chance. Always making sure I'm fueling up throughout the day and not leaving myself hungry. In the afternoon, you know, I've had lunch and whatever, later in the day, that's when I might be a bit tired. I've put up with people all day. I work as a mental health worker. I'm dealing with all sorts of personalities. And I'm like, Ugh. So I make sure I have some fruit. I don't say, oh, I'll wait till I get home. I'm going to have my salad. Oh, I don't want to eat too much. No, no, no. I'm not thinking like that. I'm just thinking I've got too many monsters going on in my head at the moment. I need to be fueled. Nothing to do with listening to my body. All it's got to do is battle, 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 battle. Okay, I get home now. I make sure I've got a salad. What I have been doing is making them the night before because I... I'm, ha I'm having these battles at the moment and I need to make sure it's there. I'm putting the dressing on and I'm filling myself right up and I'm waiting. To, and, I'm, I, and I don't have a little salad. I have big, huge salads. I'm filling myself up until my brain goes, ah, oh, you've hit the spot. Perfect. Satisfied all day. And I go, yes, I've conquered all. I'm an overcomer. I'm strong. I'm great. I'm worthy. Well done, Jade. Pat on the shoulder. You got through this day. You fought the monsters and you won. That is important. Now, that's where I'm at and I'm strong enough to get there. You may be new to this um, lifestyle. So build your structure. Build your day. If you need to make your food the night before so you're organized, do it. Next thing, make sure the night before you go to bed, you're talking to yourself. You're saying, you know what? I'm a badass. I'm wonderful. I'm great. I'm this. I'm that. My life is going this way. I'm going to be eating raw. Get away from me, devils. Tell yourself. Then you're also telling yourself first, um, before you go to bed, when I wake up in the morning, I'm having my water. All of this going through your brain before you go to bed, I'm having my water. Have it made up the night before if you have to, so you're just going straight in the fridge, you're not going for a coffee. Have your green juice made the night before. Don't worry, I hear people say, oh, but doesn't it break down a little bit? You know, you lose some nutrients. I'll tell you where you're going to lose real nutrients. Go and wake up in the morning and have toast and, you know, a a big chunk of butter on it there's no nutrients there don't worry about the small things the most important thing is to stay on track now learn my four d's Deter um, desire determination discipline dedication you've got those four d's plan to have them once you've got them in um cemented into your mind then you you'll conquer anything now, if all else fails, and I know it can happen, those monsters can be pretty hardcore, and I've got years and years of experience of dealing with these things, and I know it's really hard when you're starting off because I had failure after failure after failure after failure, believe me. So don't go, oh, well, Jade makes it sound so easy. No, I'm on, I might be on t chapter 20, but I've repeated chapter one 100,000 times. So don't panic, all right? Um... Um, if all else fails and you do have a major slip up, 
don't think, oh my God, you know what? I'm such a, I'm such a F up. I've failed again, blah, blah, blah. No, you're not. You know what you do? You say, okay, you won the battle this time, monster. You won it, but you ain't going to win the war. I'm going to be stronger, tougher, harder, more organized, more structured, and I'm going to get through this. Why? Because I'm awesome and I am worthy of great health. So one bad slip up doesn't affect your whole lifetime. You say, you know what? I slipped up. Okay, I forgive you. Why do I forgive you? Because I love me. Move along, dust yourself off and get that good food back into you. What's a good food? Fruit, raw fruit, raw greens. You know what? Life's too short to be holding resentments on ourselves. Anyhow, that is my little bit of words of advice on planning and structure. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm Jade. This is the Rawsome Truth. Join me on my forum on Raw Vegan Fruitarian for Life. And remember this, don't take lives, live life. All right, bye for now.